All right, so this is part three of the PAR video series for IFSE R3. Uh, previously, we submitted a PAR on a soldier as an HR Pro, and then we made a video about how to accept, review, and insert a workflow template for PAR as a Battalion S1 HR Pro. So now we're gonna log in as a company commander and recommend approval on the PAR um, as an intermediate approver. So I'm currently logged in as the company commander and I receive a notification that a PAR has been submitted to me uh, for recommendation. And uh, on the workflow that was inserted into that PAR by the Battalion S1 HR Pro, I was an intermediate approving authority. So real quick, this is super simple. I'm going to see my notification up here. I'll click on that and I'll see that I have a uh, qualification for skills for Sergeant Fair pending approval. So again, I can either click on this link here or if I go to the HR professional module of a commander, I will see that I have an approval pending. So again, both of them take us to the same place. We'll click on the approvals tile and we'll see that uh, there is one action pending and this is the PAR for the ASI to Bravo for Sergeant Fair. Um, of course, I don't know that as the commander right now. I know that as the author of this video. So here it is. <clears throat> it's essentially the same screen that the S1 pool representative received, the HR Pro at the battalion. From here, um, I can simply recommend approval. I can go in here and insert another workflow if I was the company commander and I wanted to, you know, maybe push it to the XO or something like that, I don't know. I could just insert another workflow or I could ad hoc someone into the chain. But when I open up this approval chain uh, <clears throat> module here, you'll see that, again, very similar. I can insert a template or I can just look at what's here and I can see that uh, this S1 HR professional uh, in the Battalion S1, I recognize the name. Uh, recommended approval on it and they put some notes. They said, hey, this, this PAR for Sergeant Fair is ready and, it, and exactly what it is. And then I can see that it's pending with me, the company commander, and that it will then go to the battalion commander for approval. So I will see the next step uh, for this workflow uh, for this PAR. So I have no issues with this as the company commander. I'm simply going to recommend approval and I will put some comments for the battalion commander to see um, before they assign it. And that's it. Click submit and the document has been submitted for approval to the battalion commander. So now what we're going to do is we're going to log in as the battalion commander. All right, so now I'm logged in as the battalion commander for this PAR. Um, what I see here up in my right hand corner, I see I have a, a little alert. I have a notification. So I click on that button and I see that there is a document pending my approval. Once again, I can click this link to take me directly there, or I can go to my HR professional home screen and I see that I have a one action pending approval. Uh, what I'll do is I'll click on this tile and it'll take me to the PAR for completion. So I see, again, it looks very similar to all the other screens that we've had in other videos, um, you know, how we submit it. Uh, it looks very similar to the S1 pool screen and it looks very similar to the um, company commander in immediate approval authority screen. So real simple, I'll just click on this action. When the screen comes up, it's gonna give me the option to either continue to route it, which if I'm the approver, I don't know why I would do that. Uh, I can cancel the approval, which means I'm gonna end the entire action. Um, I can deny the action and say, no, they're not gonna receive it. I can give it pushback. I want more information, I want more documentation. Uh, I recognize something is wrong with the action. Um, all of these can be done at any level of the uh, workflow template through an intermediate or through the approver. Again, I got a great S1, no issues with this action, um, and I'm gonna click approve. And so congrats on graduating air assault. Cool. Again, comments aren't necessary, but um, <clears throat> it does give you the option to put it in there. So I click submit. And once it goes through, we'll see that I have no pending approvals and that it's complete. 
So that's it. That's how I sign a PAR as an intermediate approver or as an approval authority. Next, we're going to make a video on how to look to see that my PAR was completed uh, and to pull the orders for my PAR as the soldier who the action was submitted on. Be sure to stay tuned. We got a lot more IPSA videos coming up. Check out the iCard for all of the PAR links, uh, all of the PAR video links that we've created. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, leave some comments, and hit the like button for this video. We also post these videos on S1Net, so you can share them around, let everybody know that they're out there. Hopefully they're a useful tool for you to see how IPSA works uh, and, and as we get ready for release three IPSA in September of 21. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. Defend and serve.